Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Bijou. Bijou. Stop being a weirdo. Good morning, everybody. It's me, Ty Rivera, the absolute best LGBTQ comedian in the world. If you'll notice, right next to me, I have... Uh, Bijou, stop being nosy. A bumper sticker or a sticker from brainstemming.com. If you have, hey, hey, Renee, Renee, Renee. Um, hello, Slick Fox. But yeah, uh, that is brainstemming.com. It's just sitting there because it is, uh, Sometimes I post in places when I can remember to. But that's like the art that I have all over my walls and stuff like that. That's uh, brainstemming.com, which I need to get more stuff from him. But I'm supposed to be in the Bay Area, I think, next week. No, in the beginning of May. And so, you know, uh, I'll, I'll get more stuff then. I love, love, love his art. But anyway... What's up, Edie? Good seeing you, Edie slash Eddie, since you told me that's what uh, annoys you, that people always call you Eddie, and I know how annoying that is, because I'm thigh to some people. Yes, some people say thigh. And what's up, Jose Tapia? Uh, good seeing you last night. But... What am I trying to talk about right now? Not really anything. You know, I haven't been doing Facebook Live and stuff like that lately, but it was because I was in China for, I think it was 12 days total was the way, um, I think was the amount of time that I ended up uh, being in in China or being gone. And it was exhausting, you know. We did uh, several cities. Uh, and shut up, Renee. No, I don't have love cuffs yet. Well, actually, a little side story um, is that uh, Christopher bought me love cuffs on, uh, what's it called? Um... On Valentine's Day of last year, but he didn't bring them to me because that's when we had just, just got together. We weren't even official boyfriends yet, and he didn't want to uh, creep me out by bringing me handcuffs and then me being like, you're fucking weird. But clearly he doesn't know me. Thank you, Slick Fox. Yes, I am a groundbreaking bitch. What a lot of people don't realize is that during my time when I was transgender, uh, I became the first transgender person to host uh, the potluck at the comedy store. And I also became the first transgender judge of the roast battle at the world famous comedy store in the belly room. So... Uh, that was, which, like, some people say that me being transgender was a goof and that I was being rude to the transgender community, but I was not. In fact, what I was doing was a social experiment, and, uh, you know, it was to make the point that, uh, people were saying at that time that you didn't have to do anything to be trans, you could just be trans, and that was even trans people that were saying that, so I was like, okay, well, then I'm trans, and then people got mad at me, and I was like, well, I don't know why you're mad at me, because all I'm doing is proving your exact point, and I did realize during my, uh, during my time being trans that, uh, that people really do ask you a lot of uncomfortable questions and it gets tiring having people ask you constantly because people that I was very close with were very much like, you know, so I'm confused. Does that mean that you're getting rid of your penis? Does that mean that you don't have a penis? And it was just like regular, on a regular basis that people were asking me about my genitalia, which, uh, you know, I'm pretty comfortable with the subject of sex and sexuality, but sometimes it did get a bit like, you know, like, just stop always asking that. It's such a boring question. So I get why trans people uh, can get a little bit tired of that. At the same time, I still feel as LGBT in general, it's good for, um, I hate you, Renee, in my twilight years. Uh, I still think it's... 
Well, that's the thing. Yeah, it's normal to ask when we don't understand is what you just said. I'm just reading it for anybody else that can't see right now what it said. And uh, yeah, I think it is normal for people to ask questions. And I think as LGBT, even though it gets tiring, it gets exhausting, because I get tired of people asking me the same questions about being gay, uh, you know, and then as I conquer a new territory... Like when I was in Mongolia, there were people that were asking me questions that uh, I haven't been asked in the States in a long time because they're newer in their development of the acceptance of LGBT. And so me as a gay man that's trying to like kind of not necessarily further any kind of cause, but I am trying to, I guess, create uh, more tolerance or help that be a thing. Um, so I feel like at that point it is my duty and my responsibility to answer a few questions and have a few conversations, be those conversations about religion or sexuality in general or my family, my parents. Uh, and, and so I don't mind doing that with people. Um, let me see. It shouldn't matter. It's what you do and how you treat people. <laughs> You're a kind boss bitch. Thank you. Uh, and then Renee says, I don't think the NAACP does enough for the LGBTQ community. Because, well, you know, and I don't blame them. They're spread pretty thin right now, you know, with uh, having to honor Jesse, Jesse Smollett. And then the Jesse Smollett situation and then it happened and then that made it so people were like... Yeah, well, maybe now I don't want to necessarily support the LGBT community, which I'm not going to say is right, but at the same time, I can't blame people for feeling that way. And Edie, yes, at some point I will write a book. Uh, thank you. I will end up writing a book. Uh, Sam, thank you so much. Um, and yeah, so... You know, I guess that ended up being the point of today's. Right now, some friends of mine are arguing because a friend of mine who's a trans man, I did an episode of Unbothered with him. His name is Trey. If you guys want to check him out on... Um... Oh, yeah, Lena Waithe is doing a lot to help uh, more than one community right now, and she's really... Uh, I hope she continues on that track. But uh, if you guys want to check out the episode of Unbothered where I talk to Trey, um, I think it's called Not Just a Trans Man, or there, it's Trans Man in the title, and if you guys want to check that out, sorry, someone was just calling in, if you guys want to check that out, then uh, check that out, Unbothered. There's a new episode of Unbothered right now, but Trey is having a conversation right now because he posted that, you know, you need to get over it if people don't, like, say that they don't date trans men specifically, uh, or trans people specifically, uh, you can't just call them transphobic and then make that a thing, and then he put, like, a joke about it, you know, where he said he didn't want to bump pocketbooks with anybody, and then different trans men are, have expressed different feelings, there's only one that's, like, butthurt about it, and the others are, like, you know, had their own jokey way of putting things, and I think that's more the move right now with the LGBT is, like, you don't have to tell other people how to identify, and nobody should tell you how to identify, or how to joke, or how to refer to yourself, like, we all have our own ways of, our, of accepting ourselves, and, like, having fun with ourselves, even when that comes to race, you know, like, different people have different ways that they're willing to have fun about race, and some people are uncom uncomfortable with some of that stuff, but, you know, as long as it's about you, in a lot of cases, I feel like it's 100% fine, because you have a right to feel the way, uh, the way that you want to feel. Uh, I'm so happy that you are breaking ignorant boundaries and assisting those trapped in a box to not think bad about the LGBT community. All races, man or female. Oh, yeah. Everybody has their fucked up group. But, yeah, it's right now there's some people doing a disservice. I think Jesse Smollett will eventually deserve uh, full forgiveness. It, really, he didn't do anything that terrible. But he just set us back. And, and like, not only LGBT, but people as, of color. Um, because... You know, uh, people have trouble accepting hate crimes or accepting that hate crimes are even a thing. So, like, he really did uh, hurt us in that way. But, you know, uh, it's just, there's always going to be something. So, um, 
Thanks for watching, everybody. And shut up, Renee, talking about people's titties. Uh, I should call you later on today. Maybe I will. If you around. If you around, that is. But uh, everybody, enjoy yo Saturday. And uh, I have a meeting that I have to go to at 3.30. And then I will be performing tonight. I will be hosting at the D. So if you guys are in Las Vegas, going to be in downtown Las Vegas, hit me up. And maybe, well, you know, I can definitely get you in. And yeah, I am naked right now. So whatever.